Integral calculus, areas under curves. This really follows on from the Riemann integral, where we now use the definite integral to find the area under a curve. Well, loosely speaking, under a curve, because it could be above a curve if the curve's below the x-axis. It's really between the curve and the x-axis. In this first example, we have the curve y equals 5x minus x squared. And we're asked to find the area enclosed by that curve in the x-axis. In other words, to find the area under the curve from 0 to 5. So we're going to find the definite integral from 1 to 5 of this function. It's a standard integral. Substitute 5, subtract, substitute 0. And there is the area 125 over 6. In other case, also under a parabola, between a parabola and the x-axis between two bounds from negative 1 to 3, written in that form, which to integrate I'm going to have to multiply that out and simplify so therefore it's the area to the integral from 1 to negative 1 to 3 of that function which is that standard integral substitute 3 subtract substitute negative 1 40 over 3 13 and 1 third Now we're going to find the area between a curve and the x-axis where the curve is below the x-axis and above the x-axis. Now those are two danger areas because this one is going to be negative and that one positive. The opposite and sign. So we have the area there, the area there, and notice the absolute values, meaning just the positive numerical values. So this, this one here is the integral from 0 to pi by 4 of sine of x dx, and this is the integral from negative pi to 0 of sine of x dx. Once again, a standard integral becomes negative cos, and we substitute pi by 4, subtract, substitute 0, substitute 0, subtract, substitute negative pi. And on a calculator that gives us 2.29, 2, 2.29. Now to find the area between a curve and a straight line. So it's the area below the straight line, less these two areas below the parabola, plus this area between the parabola and the x-axis. Absolute value, and it's actually a negative area, so instead of having the absolute value signs, we attach the negative sign. So it's going to be plus negative. Now let's have a look at what this means here. Less. This bit here. There we are. Plus. This. Now if I take away the brackets. So both of those become negative and that's negative. We now take out a negative, we have the three areas adding together. Now have a look at what we have. Same integral, same function, a to negative 1 plus negative 1 to 1 plus 1 to b. So this is really the integral from a to b of x squared plus x dx. So therefore we can write it like that straight off. And there it is like that. And that's what it is. It's the area 
under the straight line minus the area under the curve. That bottom area there automatically adjusts itself out because it's been negative. It needs to be added on, but it's negative being below, but it's being subtracted, so it does add on. I can now combine those two into a single integral, because they're both from A to B. A to B, there we are. And now I can simplify. Now I need to find the values of A and B. To do that, we solve simultaneously. We can equate x squared plus x to x plus 2. So x is plus or minus the square root of 2, which means negative square root 2, square root 2. Now we have a standard integral with substitution. Substitute root 2, subtract, substitute negative root 2. Eight root 2 over 3. Now we have the area enclosed by two curves where the difference is, notice the previous one, it's a single area there, the one function is always above the other one. But in this next one, they cross over during the area. So we can't just say the cubic subtract the parabola, because the cubic isn't always above. So we're going to have to divide it into two areas. So we find the points of intersection, put that equal to that, simplify us to that, we can take out a common factor of x and simplify, factorize the rest, and it gives us 0, 1, 3. So therefore this one here is going to be the integral of the cubic, subtract the integral of the parabola. integral of the cubic, subtract the parabola. And this is the integral of the parabola, subtract the cubic. Standard integrals, substitute, subtract, substitute, minus brackets, substitute, subtract, substitute. Thirty seven over twelve or three comma zero eight. Now it's quite possible to be given a graph where we have to find the area between it and the y-axis. This is like having it turn, turning it on its side. The only difference is we're going to treat it in the same way, but we're going to have to write that graph in the form x equals. So if we have y equals lin x, it means x equals e to the y. Logarithmic form, exponential form. So now the area is from negative 1 to 1 of e to the y. Integrate e to the y, still e to the y. Substitute 1, subtract, substitute negative 1. And it works out at 0 0.692. 0, 0,692.